and welcome to the Miss Hubnut channel. Uh, we're taking a little step away from our Welsh towns to do a little bit of a tasting session. So we bought a 40 piece Dagashi set. So we're going to test a little selection of these and see how we get on with them. Don't Yay. look so worried. I'm slightly worried. Texas corn chips. It says they're going to be fried chicken, pizza, corn pottage or teriyaki flavours. What's that one? Ready to go? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Mm. It tastes like it dissolves mm, in your mouth. Hundred percent monster munch. No, not it's monster savory, munch. but um, I couldn't. I would say that would be the corn pottage because it's it savory. Called? Oh god, what's this? But called? I can't quite put my finger on it. Oh. It's very it does taste of corn. I know they are corn puffs, but that tastes mm. very much like corn. Ooh. Three. A package Fried of... potato. USA. USA. Mm. Ready? Yep. Let's go. Mmm. Mm. They have a. Oh, nice. Again, very smooth. Mm. Very potato. Very French fries. Mm. Very nice. They taste like chipsticks. Or French fries, I think. I couldn't put a flavour on them. Chipsticks that. are a bit fluffier. Mm. Mm. That's definitely That's French true. fries. Do French fries still exist? I don't know. Put little um, pictures on the back. Oh, it's good camera work. Well done. And of an over excitable drink by the looks of it. How are we going to do this? Are we all just going to take one lick? We'll all have a little lick. We, know, we don't mind. Sherbet pop. Oh. Another lollipop in one of three yummy flavours. Grape, cola or soda. Oh, this is like, um, what's it called? Sherbet dip dab. Mm. But a little bit more exotic. Mm. You need to dunk it. Oh, my bad, my bad. It's been dunked already. That's it. Was yeah, but you don't get a good coverage if you don't lick it. I'm doing the other side to where you lick. Don't. Family friendly. Yes. <laughs> You lick the entire thing. So what flavour is it, folks? Have we? Uh, Coca-Cola. You got Ooh, grape, gummy. cola, or soda? Cola. I licked the whole oh, really... side. Oh, oh, that's lovely. No, no. no! That's all yours now. No. Oh. The... I love sugar. I licked one okay. side. She just went. Oh, oh the lolly's cola that. flavoured, and I'm not. The sherbet's just kind of. Fizzy. Chuji cannot know. It's a cola lolly. <laughs> <laughs> That's tangy. <laughs> oh yeah, you're not all about tangy, are you? Aha, the fortune telling chocolate beans. So, oh, it's your luck levels. Okay, so this is serious, folks. Choose okay. your little bean wisely. They look like pills. They do. They do look like medicinal pills. They do rather. Went for the lone yellow. So one. what? What? You can't see what it oh, is. Yours got two circles. Two circles. So your luck is very high. Ha, ha. Okay, I'm gonna. You have low luck. Oh. <laughs> so we've got one very high and one low. Go on then, your turn. Pussy you wise. Do you want me to hold it? Yeah, you hold the microphone. Cool. One circle. One circle. One circle. So your luck is high. Excellent. They also... smell like bubble gum, but they're supposed to be chocolate. It's not also... chocolate. It's just saying they're not chocolate. chocolate. And I got one circle, so my luck is high as well. Whoa, that's got yes. some flavour in it. That's intense. Mm. What is, let me... We're going to pick a lucky victim. Oh, wow. So this is tongue-changing gum. Me. This is be, me. which is the word for tongue. Gum comes in three flavours or colours, red, black and blue. And it will leave the inside of your mouth the same colour. I suppose. Go, ready? Ready? So ready? what does it smell like? like it smells like... um. It smells a bit like Coca-Cola. Yeah. Oh, really nice. nice. So you two chew on that and we will get something else. Oh, rice crackers. Oh, lush. I like rice crackers. So we've got a little packet of rice crackers here. My little able camera assistant's going to take those up by the camera. Is it maintaining it? Yeah. Oh, it's, maintaining. Oh, it's gone red. Oh, it's maintaining its flavour. Oh, Do not adjust your sets. His tongue really is that colour. Well, you two keep chewing on that and we will have a go at these rice crackers. Mm. Ooh. They've got a kick. Really? Oh yeah. There's yeah. a little peppery back note there. I wouldn't say it's peppery. It kind of tastes. In the, in the it, it's like very light pork scratchings. The really no. crunchy bit of a pork scratching. I'll tell you what I think it really hey, tastes like. Fried bread. Yes. It really That's tastes it. like little pieces of fried bread. Mm. Mm. More please. More please. <laughs> so these are yaitara. They are thin strips made from grilled surumi. Um, so that's a paste that's made from ground fish. Like Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh well, this is a brave new world for me. Mm. Oh, you, you might want to rethink that decision when you sniff. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like I don't fish, so I'm going to sit this one out. I'm going to have one. Now they smell oh. like, like bait. Go on, They're eat it. fishy, I can't. Okay. Seeding airline. Salty. Mm. Bit chewy though. Very. I don't. I don't know if I. <laughs> I actually like that. No. Actually, not that bad. no, is that a no? It ends up tasting like um, fish food. But this is called Pop Rock Panic. Oh, so it's popping candy with um, hard candy as well. And again, it's grape, cola, or soda flavoured. I love the artwork on these. Yeah, the artwork is absolutely brilliant. Right. Yeah, because they's good at drawing the mangas, ain't they? That's three. Yeah. We're about to get three. I have mangas in my drawer. Oh, so. Oh, Ian didn't get any popping candy. <laughs> oh, God. So Ian is just... I'm, I'm trying to demonstrate what popping candy. I didn't oh, get any. Oh, wow. They look like little gems. What are these about? They're then? hard candy pieces. So you've got <laughs> hard candy pieces and the popping candy in there. I, I don't know if anybody else used to pour their popping candy into a glass of water and make like it was lemonade. Mm -hmm. Never really worked. So what do we think of that one? There we go. I That's heard a creepy story on TikTok. Mm hmm. I didn't so it must be true. Um, about a girl who had popping candy, and then she drank cola, and her stomach felt oh, bad. Oh, that's an urban legend. That's been and going then around she for years. Exploded. That one's been going around since we were kids. Mm, they did it on MythBusters, I think that one. Yeah. Did it work? Uh, no. <laughs> well, I think they managed to create a reaction could somehow. Explode a seagull like that. Oh, we need this a break from the sweet. Is an amiibo stick. It's a corn stick. Now, the flavour, okay, the flavour of this could be tonkatsu sauce, salami, cheese, teriyaki burger, corn pottage, salad, oh, it could be fishy, could be pollock roe, mm. takoyaki, chicken curry, salted beef tongue, natto, sugar rusk, yakitori, or chocolate. Okay, <laughs> that's some range of taste. Now, so I, I'm, I'm suspecting pollock roe is coming our way. Oh. Looks like a giant what's it? Smells it. Fish. Looks like a giant what's it? Mm. <laughs> what do you think? Hi guys. The crab yeah. sticks are very soft. Crunchy crab sticks. That's like a crunchy crab stick. Awesome. This is a Hello Kitty marshmallow that is chocolate filled. <laughs> shaped like a pillow. <laughs> I thought it was going to be shaped like Hello Kitty. Full. Mm. You ate the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? Is mm. that nice? Is it chocolate filled? It is, yeah. So Can you get, I tell you get the facts you, about Hello Kitty? You get the marshmallow and then you get the chocolate flavour right in the middle. It's very intense. Uh, we have here Uncle Piero's roll cake. Now Ooh, this could be that. strawberry or buttercream flavoured. Mmm. <gasps> you want that noodle? Mmm. Mm. I'm trying to work out what that flavour is. It doesn't. Mm. Not buttercream necessarily. So mm. it tastes like a Swiss roll. The sponge is very much like a Swiss roll that you'd have over here. Some of almost a bit almondy, marzipanish. Mm. Yeah, there is. There. White chocolatey. Yeah, there is mm. a bit of that to it. It's very creamy. This is based on Janken or rock, paper, scissors. Okay. So you either get a rock, paper, or scissors. I assume that's paper. It's a gummy. It doesn't tell me any more than that. It's called oh. So we don't know what flavour this is. Or how to open it. I think it might be, I think it might be <laughs> strawberry or cherry flavoured. Assume nothing, as we've been mm. eating random fish snacks. <laughs> oh, smells like cola. Uh -huh. Smells they very There's like a lot cola. of cola. Yeah, there is, they're there big into their cola. a lot of pop, isn't there? So oh, yeah. I... A little bit firmer than our gummies, I would say. But very nice. It's cider. So this is a soda gummy. And this one says it's cider flavoured. What does it taste like? Um... Washing machine powder. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like washing machine powder and you like it. Not quite. What's that saying? It's nope. fruit. <laughs> <laughs> it's fruity, but in a non. You could probably tell us more as you have a mouth of it. There is definitely a hint of washing powder. <laughs> Ami chan candy. So, Japanese character or popular themed candies or lollies, including Hello Kitty, Pokemon, Ampan Man, and so on. 
their fruit or fizzy flavours. So I remember we're meant to be telling people. Oh. Aww. 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 It's alright, I'll go the chocolate marshmallow. Crunch. It tastes like um calendar chocolate. We're gonna go for this Orion Mini Ramoon candy drink range. Oh my god! So guess what? Cola, what? soda, Vita C, Ooh. or peach. Mm. So it's like a little can of of fizzy pop, almost. So mm. let's get it open, and I think we can all have a little bit of this. Yeah. Here we go. Bubblegum. It's like a bit fizzier than bubblegum, I think. Mm, something fruity. Mm. Could be grape soda. Mm. The texture is kind of like a tablet. Mm. Um, they look like a tablet as well. But that's a nice candy, that one. I yeah, it tastes like a lot one. nicer than paracetamol. This is a green tea Kit Kat. Matcha green tea Kit Kat. So, do okay. so it's actually green. The Kit Kat is actually... Oh, oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> that is really nice because I'm re picking up a very strong tea flavour from that. Mm. Not too bitter. But, but, but with normal Kit Kat. Oh, so you wouldn't need to have tea and biscuits, mm. you just have one of those. Tea and biscuits in one helpful snack. Now, this is a Fujiya lollipop candy. Yeah. And this could be strawberry, guess what? Grape, soda, mm. <laughs> orange, pear, or a seasonal addition. Oh, it's got a symbol that's doing this, look, the peace sign. On the lolly. Oh, can you get the camera to focus on that? Yeah. There's okay. your challenge. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Miss Professional. Adam. You might need okay. more than a nip. Okay. <laughs> no! Oh no. This was never going to end well, was it? <laughs> oh. What flavours are we getting there? Um, grape. Tastes, it tastes a bit like wine. Yeah. Oh. Um, that uh, you're loving mom, it. Mum, mm. you were supposed to. Yeah, a bit There's whiny, a whiny note to it. it. Must be the grape. Oh, yeah. Next item is one that is quite intriguing, really. It's a make your own ice cream kit. Everything is in the pack. So they're in there, there's a tray, there's little tiny cones, <coughs> and there's powder that's going to make soft serve. And I think this could only go well, folks. Okay. So Have in that container, that. we've got little tiny ice cream cones, absolutely tiny ice cream cones. Hi. And there was a pink powder that we added water to, and it's now a pink foam. So that is our ice cream. Certain two people think that it's actually cold. It um, has gone cold. I'm not 100% convinced on this. Yes. So you need to dish up your soft serve. How do you, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> go on then. Oh, for God's sake. Mmm, <laughs> sour. <laughs> oh. They're very, very tangy. Is it tangy? Sherbet tea. What a strange thing. Yeah, because it looks like an ice cream. It doesn't taste like an ice cream. No? What no, is it? it's, it's got that fizz to it. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold that for a second. I'm going to eat a bit of this foam. Lilo. Lilo, really. Well, that wasn't what I was... That's not what I was anticipating at all. It has no. gone cold, though. It's kind of... um, It's creamy. Mm. But it's fizzy. Yeah. And fruity. I'm not used to fizzy ice cream. At the same time. This is a little bit unusual. Kids, beer. beer. I feel beer. this can only end well. Okay. So what we're going to do with the kids' beer is we add water and apparently it's going to foam and have a head on it like an actual beer. Like Kool-Aid? All of it. All yeah, of like it. a bit like Kool-Aid. Apparently it's going to be fizzy. Well, foamy. Like beer. Mm. Put, fill it about halfway, I think, because it wants about 120 ml. Oh, look, it is foaming. <laughs> Absolutely ranted. Gonna, gonna, gonna. Yeah, leave it. It's starting Hang to clear on. down the that bottom. Is looking Whoa! like beer. Hold it up to the camera so you can see the reaction. Wait, so what? it went from looking like muddy water to looking like beer. Wow! Now the question is: Is it beer flavored? We need to buy more. Is it or is it candy flavor? Yeah. Is it grape? Is it? I'm it's time to it. find out. I don't know. It just tastes like water. Really? That's disappointing. Sour water. Sour water. <laughs> Try some sour water then. Mm, delicious. Has a hint of grape. I'm not going to lie. Sour water. Yeah, you're expecting a great taste and it hasn't really got any taste at all. It's just sour water. There, yeah, there is something a bit sour about it. This water. It's literally just sour water. 
<laughs> I know what it tastes like. What? It tastes like um. Oh god, this is an awful comparative, but it tastes like the powders you have if you've got a water issue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so at least our um water systems will be functioning correctly then. Yeah, that's horrible. Do you want any more? <laughs> Wait, of that? how do you know the taste? What? From the sardine. <laughs> oh. Um. Hi. So we will leave you there with our um kids beer. While we're here, a little plug. So you will have hopefully seen my Newcastle Emlyn video, which is the third one on my Welsh towns. Um, they're proving very popular, so we're going to be out and about locally. Um, if you have any suggestions of places to go, things to eat, places to eat, please let me know. Obviously, hospitality tourism has been really badly hit by the the pandemic. So if we can support local businesses, that's absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm not quite sure where we're going next with our video, our which oh, town no. comes next. We don't know. We don't know. Maybe we are yeah. organised, but it's nice to just go off somewhere, isn't it? Indeed. On our little adventures. Yes. So thank you very much for watching our tasting video, and we hope to see you all again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs>